children we are reading chapter 4 that is an ideal home in last two classes you have studied about features of an ideal home that is sunlight ventilation sanitation doors and windows and water supply now i am going to teach you rest of the features number 6 is safety the doors and windows should have bolts and locks the main doors must have a spy eye to ensure that the doors is not opened to the strangers there should be a wall or fence all around the house to keep animals and strangers out there should be a proper system of a space in case of fire or another natural calamity children do you know the doors and windows should have curtains curtains help the house look nice and maintain privacy they also help to keep the flies mosquitoes and dust out next is cleanliness a house should be kept neat and clean the furniture and other things should be dusted every day floors should be wiped with disinfect things should be kept in proper places it keeps the house neat tidy and saves a lot of times and next is garbage disposal a clean house and a neighborhood requires an efficient system of garbage disposal so that heaps of garbage do not harm the people or the environment the people must separate those items that can be reused or recycled to reduce the amount of garbage the garbage should be disposed of from the surroundings on daily basis we all are responsible for protecting the natural environment we should keep fresh plants around our houses we must plant tree in our colony we should live in harmony inside our home and with our neighbors the corporations sharing and caring creates a friendly environment do you know a house may be big or small it may be in the village or in a city but it must be clean safe and comfortable to live in here your chapter is completed here is the home assignment for today's class